On February 11, 2016, Chris Jericho faced off against AJ Styles on an episode of SmackDown, and what he wore is presented in this figure release from Mattel in the WWE Elite Legends line. Here Jericho is out of the packaging. This is an interesting release because it's nearly a re-release, but it's also an update. Of course, that one on the jacket, it advertised glow in the dark. This one doesn't. This one isn't going to light up when you shut off the lights. But I do enjoy how they painted it with blue. Because he sometimes has blue on his coats, he sometimes has red lights, white lights, and this one's showing him with blue lights. It is super firm, so it's totally gonna be stuck there. It's not really going to bend. It's just going to stay as is. So really the best way to pose it is with his back towards you. And I was a little nervous. I thought it would be difficult to take the coat off. It's really simple. With the coat off, I notice a few things about this figure. It is an elite, and I thought maybe Mattel would possibly give us some generic designs for his tattoos, because the thing about Chris Jericho's tattoos is that they're of his favorite bands and stuff like that, so the images themselves have copyright on them. But I thought maybe Mattel would make just generic ones that kind of look like it and put it on his arm. Instead, we get a bare bones, basic arm that has nothing on it. Now the conversation for today is would you rather them give generic tattoos or would you rather leave it blank. If it's not accurate, you don't want anything there. Hit me up in the comments what you think. I really enjoy the attire on this guy. I'm glad that they went with his purple, black, and blue. Threw in the 2016 logo. I think the body mold is a bit off for contemporary Jericho. He's not this thin anymore, and I feel like this is a very thin mold, and Chris Jericho is definitely not this thin. Oftentimes, I think that Chris Jericho is one of those wrestlers that Mattel never really gives us a good face scan for, but I think you can definitely see the Chris Jericho in this face. It's not completely there, but it's one of the best Chris Jericho faces we've received. The only articulation issue I found with this figure is that his feet don't really move up and down. It's a common problem for the line, but I don't think that it detracts from this figure because I expect it at this point. Let's talk quality control. On the body, I see no problems with there. No huge paint marks, no huge chipping. The biggest problem with quality control I see is a bit of leftover material stuck on the back of the jacket that can't exactly remove. Now the cool thing about this Jericho and this Legends line is that pretty much every other figure in this set are re-releases of older figures, and this one is an updated version of the previous Chris Jericho mainline Elite, so we get the same accessory, but a different attire and a different head scan. And personally, I'm really glad to see this jacket return, because it has a great sculpt. There's even texturing in the leather portions. You can tell that Mattel really took their time to create this jacket. And they did a great job. And even though Chris Jericho doesn't actually wear this jacket anymore, his contemporary design is a bit different. I think that this jacket is iconic enough that it's okay to get a re-release instead of getting the new contemporary look. So it's been a really long time since Mattel gave us a contemporary elite Chris Jericho. And I think they did a really good job with this figure. Even though he's way too thin and he doesn't have the tattoos on his arm, there's no sign of huge quality control issues, no sign of articulation issues. The head scan does look like Chris Jericho. The attire is bright, vibrant, looks cool, and he comes with a great accessory, and it totally fits his character. This is a great release, and if you don't already have a Chris Jericho Elite, I think that this is a worthy purchase. And if you have the previous Chris Jericho Elite that this is based off of, I think this is a worthwhile upgrade.